The knee joint is more complex than other joints because it is really three joints in one. The medial tibiofemoral joint, the lateral tibiofemoral joint and the patellofemoral joint. On a knee that has been perfectly replaced, the joint line will have been returned to the correct level, the level of the menisci. To replace the whole joint, the tibia and patella are resected with a single cut each. The femur requires five cuts. To take these femoral cuts in turn, they are the distal, anterior, posterior condyla, anterior chamfer, posterior chamfer. The important cuts are the first three, the distal, anterior and posterior condyla. Let's now turn for a moment to the flexion and extension gaps. With a total knee replacement, the tibiofemoral joint mainly moves from 0 degrees to 90 degrees flexion. As the knee flexes, the tension in the collateral and cruciate ligaments needs to remain more or less constant. To achieve this, the space between the distal femur and tibia in extension must be the same as that between the posterior condyles and tibia in 90 degrees flexion.